my YouTube channel in this tutorial, I will talk about the poly build tool. It's a great tool if you want to use it in your 3D meshes. Also, this tool is a tool that allows you, allows you to quickly add faces polygons to model in edit mode to enable it to go to edit mode. So just shift here, I'm gonna be adding a plane in our scene like this. So drag it a little bit uh, up. So select it, then tap into edit mode. It's gonna be showing in this uh, tool, in this uh, toolbar as shown in an example. Click on the on the poly build tool. It's shown here. Click on it. There's gonna be uh, one hovering over. Your mouse cursor over some of edges or vertices is gonna be showing this uh, this blue line as shown in our example. Hover your mouse cursor over an edge, for example, like this. Click, then hold uh, hold uh, the uh, the right uh, the left mouse button like this and uh, try to drag to create a new face, for example. Also. Click on the edge, then hold and drag to create a new face. For example, this using this edge like this. Over this, over this edge and uh, drag to create a face like this. You can also hit X in order to drag it uh, along the X axis like this. Also, you can do whatever you want. And this tool, it's a great tool. Use it uh, for retopologization like this. For example, so I want to work on a sculpted head just uh, in order to show you what's the aim of this uh, great tool. Also, this tool is used uh, as a great tool in order to add uh, some topology or in order to tessellate some meshes. Shown in our example, I want to show you another. Another trick used uh, in this tutorial, which is control and drag, uh, hold down control and hover over an edge. It's gonna be showing this triangle as shown here. Click in order to confirm and to show your uh, to show your face created as shown in our example. Hold control and drag like this. Click on left mouse button to to confirm the operation. If you hold shift while hovering the mouse over, so uh, over the uh, face, for example, like this, if you want to delete it, click on the face using the left mouse button to delete it. Uh, firstly, let me let me explain to you. Just hovering over this face, for example, I want to remove this face. Hold down shift. It's gonna be showing this red line. Uh, surrounding this uh, face, click on left mouse button. It's gonna be removing the face. You can notice that the poly build tool works on open edges, so it's won't do much uh, on a cube. On a cube, for example, unless you hold shift and click on a face to remove it. After which you can use the tool on open edges. In the case where you remove all the faces, you can create a new vertices by holding Ctrl and left. So let's try this great trick. So hold down Ctrl, click on the left mouse button. Like this. And I'm gonna be moving this vertex. Hold Ctrl and click on the left mouse button. It's gonna be creating another vertex. And also do it again, like this. Let's add another vertex, just using the left mouse button. So select, so just to want to select everything. I'm gonna be uh, disabling the, the, the poly build tool as shown here. So uh, hit A to select everything. Then F. To fill, this is gonna be creating a face. Uh, this case where you have uh, deleted all the faces and you have you want to make just using vertices to make other faces. And here is uh, another method to use a poly build tool is for a topology. So just I want to delete everything. Just go back to select this tool over there the cursor select box so hit a 
then x to delete all vertices just I'm gonna be adding uh, a sculpted uh, head for a million this is gonna be our tool use it in order to retopologize it because I want to use the poly build for retopology and show you something very useful if you want to try it I have uh, imported uh, to the scene this uh, hat alien and I want to retopologize using the poly build tool firstly uh, in such case turn on snapping it's over there and the snapping tool is gonna be making uh, the faces that we want to create uh, using them uh, topology over this uh, face just here is the snapping tool snap it to face click on it it's gonna be showing this uh, drop down menu click on face project then go to enable or check the project individual elements so set viewport display to in front in order to show you It's over here, it's gonna be clicking to show the object properties then go over here to in front in order to for the topology mesh so you can always see it so just I want to uncheck it then I will show you after checking this option over there so for T shift I'm gonna be adding a plane just uh, like this so just uh, move it on the Z axis Close to the head uh, to this uh, alien head, then as to scale it just to make it uh, much smaller. So let's move it on the y axis. So we want to scale it uh, just to make it much more smaller. I think it will be fine like this. So let's move it on the x axis to our concerned uh, region like this so you should uh, enable and turn on the snapping tool and set it to face project snap to face project so the this plane should snap to to the face uh, snap to the, the head as object so just enable and check project individual elements Which uh, in this video, what will happen when I try to to make it uh, to make this plane closer and move it closer to the to the head, as shown in our example? So hit G, then move it like this, and it's gonna be touching the head. So just I want to show you something very interesting. So just I want to move it uh, just a tiny bit like this in order to get to uniform. Uh, retopology so and uh, should be symmetrized to the to this uh, to this axis at the center let's go ahead to use the poly build tool uh, for retopology in our example just uh, drag down like this I'm gonna be uh, enabling I'm gonna be enabling the poly build tool as shown here it's highlighted in blue and the one hovering over an edge is gonna be uh, highlighted in blue like this so just so let's uh, switch to its selection mode like this When the edge is highlighted in blue, you should click on the left mouse button and the drag. So just turn a bit like this. So let's move on and using some edges like this. 
in order to to this uh, to be highlighted in blue so just a drag not dragging over some vertices because it's gonna be making the, the, the some vertices are highlighted in blue just like this and move it and like this it's gonna be creating this uh, greater topology in order to set the position of uh, some vertices hold over uh, hover mouse cursor over the over vertices a uh, vertex then try to click on using the left mouse button and the drag the mouse cursor in order to set its position for example like this I'm going to make it uh, make it uniform like this for example so let's uh, drag this And let me show you, it's something very amazing if you want to retopologize something like this, the head and the width much more curvature. And this is very amazing tool. very amazing tool for retopology in our example so let's uh, disable in the case where we, where we are working on a symmetrical object like this you don't need to repo repeat the, the work repeat the process again just to go over this adjustable range then click on add modifier I'm gonna be adding mirror modifier and it's gonna be mirroring so just uh, click uh, turn on the on cage in order to show the the symmetrical other part it's gonna help in you to symmetrize and uh, doing retopology and it's very amazing great tool if you want to make it if you want to use it in retopology thanks for watching see you in other tutorials